Anime. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of good anime and there's a lot of bad anime. But undisputably, the best anime of all time is Soldier, Soldier, Soldier King. Lovingly referred to by its fans as S3K. Now you might not know what S3K is, and that's because it's an underground thing that only real fans know of. So, you know, if you're a fake fan, a surface fan of anime, then you probably won't know of it. Um, and I think it's something everybody should know about, so let's talk about what the premise is, copy and paste it directly from the wiki. Set in the historical fantasy kingdom of Sheesh, S3K follows the story of two soldiers, Huey and Louie, conspiring to rebel and assassinate their monarch after he sent them on a mission that got their brother, the third soldier, Dewey, killed. The premise is amazing, and the character work flawless. There's just one teensy weensy problem, though. S3K doesn't actually exist. S3K was a practical joke invented by Twitch streamer Atriarch and his chat in order to fool another Twitch streamer, Toph, who Atriarch claims is one of the most knowledgeable anime fans he knows. Atriarch came up with the name of the show, Soldier, Soldier, Soldier King, and his chat came up with the wiki, plot, character backstories, development history, controversies, and a bunch of other random things that made the wiki seem legit. Then, they ended up going into Toph's chat and saying, yo, you know this anime, S3K? Toph searches it up, and he finds the wiki, he reads through the wiki, and he's believing it all, until he stumbles upon a certain word that clues him into the idea that the whole thing might actually be fake. King Terry. Why is this a link? I want to know King Terry. I gotta watch this show. You gotta watch it. In the season two mid-season finale episode, Kuringi. Cringe? I first saw the YouTube video that Atrioc posted of the saga of S3K or the story of S3K, I decided to get to work on making an AI model actually make S3K a reality to some extent. I had my first kind of attempt like 21 days ago when I made a rough draft of the script using GPT-3, OpenAI's super powerful language model, and then posted it on r slash Atrioc. I didn't really do too much for it. I just posted it on the subreddit, got some upvotes, got my dopamine, and then I logged off. I was too lazy to continue work on the project because I was trying to finish my high school finals and actually graduate high school so I could just start doing a lot of cool things during the summer. Then once I actually graduated high school, I got back to work on the project like yesterday and I made a lot of progress. If you don't want to hear about my previous attempts or the brief technical details that I'll be mentioning here, then be sure to skip to the timestamp that I put over here where you see the entire four minute teaser for the S3K anime, the greatest show of all time. And just be sure to note that it's not really an anime. It's more like a storyboard where there's TTS voices, text-to-speech voices that spoke the script linked up together. So it's like a collection of images and then you have the actual script, the actual audio from the anime playing at the bottom. Keeping that in mind, it's still really cool to look at. So if you want to skip directly to that, timestamp over here and in the description. Otherwise, you can watch the cool technical details and learn some things. Yay! Like I said, my first attempt at the project came 21 days ago when I got OpenAI's GPT-3 to write a preliminary skip for the anime, and then I posted that cheese on Atriox subreddit, got some upvotes, and then I logged off. Then, after I got to thinking yesterday, I decided that there were a few things I would need to do to make sure that this product didn't end up being too shitty. Number one, I would need a good script, so I need to improve a little bit on the script that I already had, but GPT-3 was basically going to do all the heavy lifting here, so I didn't really have any problem with that. Number two, I needed to have some sort of animation or at least still images. It ended up being more to the still images, but get it because getting a machine learning model to make animation is really, really hard. And I don't think any pre-existing models would do that for me already, so I didn't make one. Then lastly, I needed to use text-to-speech, some sort of text-to-speech API to turn the script into an actual audio clip that I could use in the video. So let's temper expectations here, like I already said. You're not going to be seeing something that's Studio Ghibli would make, you're going to be seeing a storyboard with voice actors reading the script, and those are linked together, and they're mashed together. It still looks really cool, but temper your expectations. Let's talk about why it had to end up being a storyboard with voice actors be reading the script, and why it couldn't actually be an actual anime. Before we do that, let's talk about the script and how it was generated. Like I mentioned earlier, I used GPT-3 to write the script for this project, and a really good way to think about GPT-3 is that it's just an insanely cracked out autocomplete, at least for text generation, that used a lot of energy and harmed the planet a lot when it was being trained. Anyways, enough talking about climate change, and let's talk about how I actually made the GPT-3 model write the script for this anime. 
With GPT-3, you're gonna have to be passing in some sort of prompt at the beginning so that the model can write out the rest of the script or the rest of the text, whatever it is you want. So for my prompt, what I passed in was the description of the anime from the anime's wiki page, along with a brief initial setting, which was just Huey and Louie um, sitting on rocks outside somewhere in the field, just talking to each other. And then the first line of the script, which was just Huey telling Louie that he's tired. He doesn't want to keep biding his time. He wants to act now on something. The anime then auto-completed, not the anime, sorry, GPT-3 then auto-completed the rest of it and made it so that the script was kind of coherent. It included the details from the premise that I passed in. It kept the first line and the story was somewhat coherent throughout. Once I had the complete script, I edited it a little bit by marking the stage directions, things like this person enters this and enters the screen or this person kills that person. And I clearly marked that as stage direction so it could be read by the narrator when he did it for TTS. Now that I had a pretty decent script, I decided to move on to making the animation for the project. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no machine learning model or AI model that can actually make an animation that runs along some coherent plot. So what I decided to do instead was use AI and GANs to generate images that matched up to the stage directions, stitch those together, match them over the audio track, put that together and call it an animation and call it an anime. There's a lot of models that do things like this, such as OpenAI's DALI, but what I used was VQGAN plus Clip. It's a model developed by Eleuther AI that you can basically just pass in a text prompt to and then it'll return an image that kind of matches the text prompt. So I opened up a Google Colab notebook made by Katherine Krausen and got to work. All I really had to do was just pass in the stage directions as prompts. I edited the stage directions to be very explicit so I could get the best end product, but that's all I really had to do. Just pass that into the notebook and then I got the image. Very big shout out to Catherine Krauser for actually making this notebook so I could do this really easily. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to check it out. Also an important note, I had to add the phrase Ghibli animation, like Studio Ghibli, to the end of every single prompt so that it would make the best animation possible or the best image possible. I saved these images and then I was ready to get to work on making an actual audio file of the script. I wrote some spaghetti code and needlessly overcomplicated Python that took the GPT-3 script and based on the characters that were saying the lines or the narrator that was saying the stage direction, it passed in a request to the Poly Streamlabs text-to-speech API and used a different TTS voice like Brian or Russell or whatever. And then I got the link to that MP3 file, brought it back. Then I used PyAutoGUI and Selenium to open up another browser window, go to that link, right click the thing and download the file. I did this for all the lines of the thing. And then I got that and I had to write another Python script to combine the files. And this was also really easy. I just sorted them in ascending order, file zero, one, two, three, whatever and combine them all using a really easy Python library and boom, I have the finished product. That's all I had. I'll put all the code for that in like a GitHub repository and I'll put it up sometime later. If you want that comment down below and I'll make sure to let you know that I'll have it ready and you'll be able to get it as soon as I put it out. Now that I had the basic part ready, all I had to do was put it all together in DaVinci Resolve with my dog water editing skills and we were good to go. Side note, every time I hear the Brian TTS voice, all I can think of is XQC's face and I hope you think of that too when you watch this teaser for S3K. And I hope you enjoy. Remember, S3K, Soldier, Soldier, Soldier King is the greatest anime that never was. Huey and Louie sitting on rocks facing each other in the background is their home. Louie, I can't keep biding our time like this. I don't want to die. That's why we have to act. We have to kill King Terry and take his place. But... Come on, think about what we've done for him. But... But he's our king. I know. That's why we have to kill him. We can't keep doing this to the people. I... If you're with me, then stand up. If you're against me, then you're my enemy. But Huey... Louis, do you hate me? Huey, I could never hate you. You're with me? I'm with you. Let's go. King Terry, I ask that you reconsider the decision to go to war. Julie, I can't just sit by while the Saurus Empire encroaches on our borders. But we are not ready for war. We must fight. 
I will not have our people slaughtered by those barbarians. But there are other ways to settle this. What do you know of how to settle this? You're just a boy. But I'm your son, King Terry. I am the king, and my word is law. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Then go, and never speak to me like that again. Louis and Huey, who are now out of the flashback, walk through a field. Huey, what will we do if we can't find anyone to help us? We'll just have to keep looking. There has to be someone who will help us. Yeah, but we've already asked everyone we know. That's why we have to keep asking. We have to find someone who will help us. King Terry is on his throne when Huey and Louis enter. Yes, King Terry. Something is wrong. Dewey is talking to King Terry in his throne room in another flashback. I'm afraid that I must resign from my position as your personal guard. Dewey, why? I can't do this anymore. I can't kill people for you. You know that I can't have you leave my service. If you do, then I'll have to have you killed. Then do it. Kill me. I don't want to be here anymore. Fine. King Terry picks up his sword and drives it through Dewey's chest, killing him. Dewey is in the field, looking up at the sky. He walks up to Huey and Louie, who are standing on the hill above him. You two are always so close. Why didn't you come talk to me? I'm sorry, Dewey. I'm so glad that you two are together now. Huey, look after Louie for me. Of course I will, Dewey. Huey and Louie walk up to King Terry. Louie and Huey draw their swords and attack King Terry. Huey, Louie, what are you doing? Huey and Louie sit on rocks facing each other again. Huey, do you think King Terry really meant it when he said he would kill us if we tried to leave? Louie and Huey walk through a field. Huey, what do we do now? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to figure it out as we go. Dewey's grave is shown. The sun rises and Huey and Louie look at it. It's a new day. I think it's going to be a good day. A new king is sitting on the throne. Huey and Louie walk up to him. I'm sorry, but I can't let you through here. You are King Terry's son, aren't you? Yes, I am. And you are? We're Huey and Louie, King Terry's soldiers. Why are you here? We're here to ask for your help. That was my attempt at making an AI generated anime. Honestly, it came out a lot better than I was thinking, but also worse than I was expecting, if that kind of makes sense. It probably doesn't. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, then leave them in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to the script because I think the script is still pretty funny. And if anybody wants to like try to act it out and voice act it with their friends, then you're more than welcome to. And I'd be awesome if you could tell me that you made a video like that because I think it'd be really funny to watch. If you want to support the development of more content like this, then you could go and support me on Patreon, link in the description, or just subscribe. Subscribing is free, it helps me out a lot, and you can always unsubscribe later. If you want to discuss this video with other people or just ask me questions about programming or anything else, then hop in my Discord server, link in the description below, or you can just DM me on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. All of those links are in the description below. I'm almost at 3,000 followers on TikTok, so follow me there. That would be really cool. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you haven't already, subscribe to Atriox. That's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of effort, and have a good one, y'all.